go. Hi, we're at KW Greenery in this crazy getup because I'm going to show you that poinsettias don't have to be white, red, or pink. They can be purple or blue. And I'm going to show you how we do that. We call this process painting poinsettias. Well, actually, it's, it's a dye that we mix with alcohol. And I'm in this crazy getup because the dye, when it's wet, stains and it's hard to get out. So I have this spray suit on and gloves so that I don't get myself all full of different colors because I don't like tattoos. So, what we're going to do is cover the white part of the poinsettia with blue. And I do this. I have it already mixed up. You can see my spray booth here. I spray the color on the, on the wall just to make sure I've got the right color. And you can see it's transforming right before your eyes from white to blue. And I'm going to give it a thorough covering of color. Make sure I get every bit of white covered in blue. This process doesn't hurt the point set at all. Because it's alcohol based, it's absorbed right into the, the leaf and um, flower tissue. And once it dries, it's a permanent color. And this will last all season until after Christmas. It still stay blue. I'm almost done getting all the blue in there. I kind of want to make sure that I get everything fully covered. Almost. And we're going to have a little fun with this one. We're going to give it a, a stripe. Give it a secondary color. And because it's a dye and it's based in alcohol, once I put another color on, it will take that original color right off wherever I put the new color. So we're going to give it a, a green stripe. That one's been a fairly popular color for us. I'll take my green bottle and I'm just going to drip it right on the leaves and you can watch as that color disappears right from the center. See how it changes from blue to yellowish green? And I just dribble a little bit right down the center of the leaf and the dye gives it a little bit of a splotching or striping effect. And just go all the way around. Give it all the green stripes. We can do all kinds of different colors with this. We can make them purple, we, as I said before. We can make them green. We can make them fuchsia. Uh, we can make them lilac. And then we can also add glitter and sprinkles and stuff to them to give them that extra touch. And we'll even do custom colors if somebody wants a specific color to match whatever they have in their house. Their Christmas decorations, their table settings, whatever. And as you can see, we transform that white poinsettia into a blue poinsettia with green stripes. Pretty cool. Now we just have to let this dry for a couple hours because we want it fully dry before anybody takes it home so that we don't have a chance of staining anything in your house. And once it's fully dry, it's all set to go. We're going to put it over here on a drying rack and let it sit for a while. And that's how we do it.